Hello friends, today we are going to see another parameter for changes only mode like change and marked attributes with previous value. So here we have already seen all attributes parameter then change attributes parameter. In earlier video we have seen all these two types of parameter and one more is change and marked attributes parameter. So all these three parameters we have seen. So today we will see change and marked attributes with previous value parameter so basically change and marked attributes is uh, parameter we have seen it is the same uh, concept with change and marked attributes but for with uh, this use of this particular parameter we will get old values as well as the new one values for the record so we'll see our extract we have already developed one extract for changes only parameter named as person data underscore change so we'll open that parameter uh, extract and here there are four attributes person id will be the key attribute person id is our key attribute then another attribute is person full name then another attribute is person gender and date of birth so these four attributes we have defined in our SM extract. So if you see person attribute <coughs> is the key attribute to one. So you marked it as a key attribute as a database threading item group. Then person full name you will see here check for the person full name for person full name is marked as a change attribute so if this attribute is change or not then also it will fetch the data for us in SM extract irrespective of data changes because we have marked it as a marked as a change so we have not marked gender as a change we have just keep it as it is we have not either marked it as a change or key attribute. So for date of birth, we'll check if we have marked the attribute as a change or not. For date of birth also we have not marked as a change. But for this extraction we will mark it as a change. So here there are two attributes we have marked it as a change, which is the person number, person date of birth. So these, th these two attributes we have marked as a change attribute. So we, as we, uh, we have changed the attributes, so we have to compile the all the formula in SM extract. So we are compiling the SM extract first, and then we'll validate the extract. Yeah, this extract has been successfully compiled so all fast formula has been successfully compiled now it is validating and it is showing that extract has been successfully validated so as we see in gender is not marked so we are going to change the gender of the any person suppose if any person having the gender male so we'll make it as a female and then try to run the extract so we'll move navigate to the person management to change the gender so we'll search for any one worker so we'll open that particular worker so we can see the employment page will appear so for gender we have to navigate to the person page so go to the task pan click on the person so we'll get the person details and you can update the gender give the effective date from which date you want to update the gender and make the changes in the gender so here we have changed the gender for this particular person so we will submit the changes so that it will commit in the database so we have changed the gender from male to female for this person so 
changes has been submitted successfully so we'll run the extract so we'll open the data exchange then submit extract from SM extract option search for our extract and submit this extract so please make sure that whatever the changes happen same effective date you have to pass and select the parameter as change and mark attribute with previous value so it will gives us the change attributes as well as the marked attributes with previous value means we will get old and new values in our extract so we have submitted the extract so here you can see our extract is in process so it's in running So for this extract, the expected output is we have to get the person full name, old value, new value, person uh, gender, old value, new value, which has been changed. So expected output should be as we are saying that it is fetched the full name as it is marked one. So it is mandatory to print on the output. So we'll get full name with old and new value then as we have cha uh, gender attribute which is not marked but we have changed that attribute so it will populate in our extract and with old and new value then date of birth is again uh, marked, uh, marked as a change so it's required to fetch into the output so we'll get again date of birth old and new value so in gender we'll get the old and new value same for the person name we'll get old and new value so in this way the extract will work so expected output will be the or will get all three attributes with old and new values so our extract is successfully completed so we'll to see the result we'll navigate to the payroll checklist for that payroll move to the my client group then payroll and click on the process result summary so here we, you, we can see one record has been extracted by our extract so we'll see the XML output for this so in this XML output you can see we'll get person full name old and new value both are the same because we have not in make any changes in the full name for date of birth we, you can see old and new values are different because we have made that changes means person from male to female and same for the date of birth we have not made any changes in the date of birth so it is the same old and new value so in this way change and mark attribute with previous value extract will work thank you thanks for watching this video